Hello everybody, this is the first lecture of the IELTS, of the re IELTS reading test, which talks about matching headings. As we know that the, the reading te test is the most difficult part of the IELTS test. Today we are going to take the matching headings, how to match the headings. We do not have time to understand each single word of the passage simply because we are under time pressure since we have got to answer 40 questions within six what is a heading a heading is usually not always the first or the second sentence of the paragraph it's also called the topic sentence and it really outlines the main purpose of the paragraph so when it comes to the exam if you want to try to find the headings fast, it's better to follow a particular search. When searching for the headings, read the first sentence of the paragraph, then read the second sentence of the paragraph, then decide which heading suits. Usually, this technique works 80 to 90 percent. Let's repeat when searching for the headings. Read the first sentence of the paragraph, then read the second sentence of the paragraph, then decide which heading suits. Usually this technique works 80 to 90% correctly. <coughs> As we know that most of the words, they come in the synonyms. What well, I mean precisely, you don't find the precise words, you find 90% of the of the heading of the top sentence as they call it in the states or the heading in, the, in british english uh, are synonyms now let's test our understanding let us read a passage robots robots at work the newspaper production process has come a long way from the old days when the paper was written, edited, typeset, and alternately printed in one building with the journalists working on the upper floors and the printing presses going on the ground floor. Let us re read it. It says, the newspaper production process. It talks about the, new, the production of the newspaper and how it has changed over the time that is the main idea if we come to the list of headings number one <coughs> robots working together it doesn't talk about robots and i see no robots here preparing lgvs for takeover lgv what's an lgv i don't know and since it's paragraph a and lgv is not mentioned before that means since it's the first paragraph so i just leave it Looking ahead. Looking ahead means just to think about or think of the future. It doesn't talk about the future here. Number four, the LGV's main functions. I see no LGV. Also leave it. Number five, split location for newspaper production. It's a high possibly answer. Why? Because it talks about the production of the newspaper. Number six, newspaper superseded by technology. It doesn't talk about technology. Number seven, getting the newspaper to the printing center. I see no, uh, no getting, transferring, transmitting. It doesn't talk about that. Yes, they mentioned the printing center, but uh, it's, it's not talking. It doesn't talk about uh, getting the newspaper to the printing center since it's not the main idea. Controlling the robots, I see no robots here. Beware of robots, I see no robots here also, and no warning here. So the answer is split location for newspaper production. B, <coughs> which says, once the finished newspaper has been created for the next morning's edition, all the pages are transmitted electronically from the pre-press center to the printing center let's go back once the finished newspaper has been created for the next morning's edition we leave this one because it has no sense all the pages are transmitted transmitted that means it talks about a transmission we may have some synonyms here maybe getting maybe taking maybe transferring 
may be moving well also it's uh whether well, it's uh, a, a very weak meaning for transmission but also it means it could be transmitting but here uh, uh, sorry electronically from the preprocessor center to the printing center so the main idea here is transmitting the uh, newspapers from the preprocessor center to the printing center let's come here the first one robots working together we don't have it number two preparing lgvs we don't have any lgv looking ahead it doesn't talk about future the lgv's main functions it doesn't talk about lgvs it doesn't talk about main functions number five we have already chosen it so we leave it number six newspaper superseded by technology yes it talks about electronical transmission but it's not technology because it's not the main idea the main idea is a transmitting the newspapers okay number seven getting the newspaper to the printing center as we said getting is transmitting so that's the right option let's come to C a procession of automated vehicles is busy at the new printing center where the Sydney Morning Herald is printed each day. Let's reread this first sentence. A procession of automated vehicles is busy at the new printing center where the Sydney Morning Herald is printed each day. If we just try to take any idea of this sentence it has no idea it has no main idea it has no uh, precise meaning so we just ignore it we leave it with lights flashing and morning horns honking the robots that's the main idea here it's a comprehensive one but let me just finish the reading of this sentence to explain something really important then i will re-explain this one okay with lots of flashing and morning horns honking the robots to give them their correct name the lgvs or laser, gu or laser guided vehicles look for all the world like enthusiastic machines from a science fiction movie as they follow their own random paths around the plant busily getting on with their own jobs i want to explain a very important notice here a very important point here please pay attention pay attention we have between two brackets here to give them their correct name the lgvs or laser guided vehicles what we have here is a sub sentence between two brackets uh, there is a rule in english which says when you have a sentence between two brackets between two brackets that means it's not a main sentence it's an extra one explains the noun that precedes so let me re-explain this in english when we have a sentence between two brackets it's not a main sentence it's a sub sentence which explains a meaning of the meaning of a word that precedes so as we notice here to give them their correct name the lgvs or laser laser guided vehicles explain robots explains robots what they did here is that they tried to trick you by putting this sentence in order to choose number two or number four do not do that since it's between two brackets or between two commas it's not the main sentence and the proof of that if we just delete this one the sentence will be with lights flashing and warning horns honking the robots look for all the world like blah 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 so it gives a full meaningful sentence that's the proof so ignore the sentence and do not choose the lgvs okay now let me explain with lights flashing and warning horns honking with lights flashing beep 
beep, beep, that means that there is an R and alarm. And warning comes. Warning is the key word here, which means it's the main sentence which illustrates the entire paragraph, which explains the entire paragraph. That means there is a danger, a warning, uh, watch out, be careful, beware also but beware of what comma and instead of saying of instead of writing of they said the robots which means with lights flashing and warning horns honking of the robots which means we have an alarm of the robots okay let's come here robots working together it doesn't talk about robots working together it talks about robots working among themselves preparing lgvs it doesn't talk about LGVs for takeover. Looking ahead, it doesn't talk about the future. The LGVs main functions, it doesn't talk about their functions. It talks about each one's function, uh, each one's thinking. Okay. Split location, you have already chosen it. Newspapers superseded by technologies. It doesn't talk about the newspapers for technology for newspapers. Number seven, you have already chosen it. Number eight, controlling the robots. And number nine, beware of robots. So we have number one, number eight, and number nine talk about robots. Now let us choose one of them with the explanation. Robots working together, we said no. Controlling the robots, it doesn't talk about any control of the robots, if we read it. But it talks about the danger or the warning of the robots which means beware which means be careful so number nine the last one ix is the right answer exercise d says <clears throat> the question newspaper workers must now workers must now ask however is how long will it be before the robots are writing the newspapers as well as running the printing center churning out the latest addition every morning before explaining it what's the meaning of churn out it's not an important thing they put these words in order to trick you to just to make you think of the word to lose the time you don't need it and you don't have to know its meaning at all indeed i know its meaning but i will not say it because you don't need it you don't have to think about this one okay let's go back <coughs> how long will it be how long will it be you are wondering about the future so it talks about the future in this case without thinking it will be looking ahead okay now that's the end of the first now let's come to uh an another one which explains our theory now wily wide wild consumers the internet has empowered shoppers both online and offline. <coughs> exercise A. Before we answer or before we read exercise A, what we need to do is to read the list of the headings, to have a look on, then we come and try to match. Number one, increasing customer confidence. Number two, a benefit to retailers a retailer what's a retailer a retailer is a merchant of single pieces it's not a wholesale a wholesaler no a retailer just like somebody who has a small shop to sell single pieces three the bigger picture of how internet use changes consumer behavior four introducing a novel approach to purchasing it talks about purchasing purchasing we will explain this word later five the dangers for retailers six <coughs> retraining the staff seven changing the face of the shop and the internet site eight a look at the sales figures and nine encouraging online feedback from consumers let's go to the first one the amount of time people spend researching, checking the prices, visiting the stores, and seeking advice from friends. 
tends to rise in proportion to the value of the product that are thinking of buying. We have read that spend researching, checking the prices, visiting the stores, and seeking advice. Those four expressions or phrases give the meaning of the word purchasing. This is the meaning of purchasing. So, we come to number four, without thinking, introducing a novel approach to purchasing. Okay. B, <coughs> sorry, paragraph B says, more people are buying the products online, especially at peak buying periods. The total value of e-commerce transactions in the United States in the fourth quarter of 2004 reached 18 billion dollars a 22 percent increase over the same period in 2003 according to the department of commerce in washington dc but that just represents two percent of america's blah 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 since we have percentages and those percentages talk about sales more people are buying the products online especially at peak buying periods the total value of e-commerce transactions in the united states in the fourth quarter of 2004 reached blah 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 okay how do we know that they are about sales because we have buying people are buying that means we have sales which means 20 percent of 22% and 2%. So, since we have percentages, that means it's a figure. A figure means uh, a drawing, a, a, a mathematical drawing. This is what we call figure. And that means it's the percentage. So, without thinking, it's number 8, a look of the sales figures. This is the only one that matches here. C. If you consider the Internet's wider influence over what people spend their money on, then the figures escalate, escalate, out, the, uh, escalate out of sight. We have the word influence. Influence, effect, influential, uh, effects, effective, they all mean there is a change a change but a change of what if we come to the to the selections to the choices here we have two headings have change number three says the bigger picture of our internet use changes consumer behavior and number seven changing the face of the shop on the internet site Let's check number three or number seven. It says influence, that means a change over what people spend their money on. People who spend their money, we call them customers or consumers. That means it's number three, the bigger picture of how internet use changes consumer behavior. D, the internet is moving the world the closer to perfect product and price information. Let's re read it. The internet is moving the world the closer to perfect product and price information. This one has no main idea, so we read sentence number two. The additional knowledge it can provide makes consumers more self-assured. Consumer, which means customer, uh, the buyer, the people who buy, more self-assured means confidence. And it says it makes them more self-assured. That means, number one, increasing customer confidence. Let's come to paragraph E. Far from losing the trade to online merchants. This is a benefit. A merchant, we said, a retailer. Far from losing the trade to online merchant, when you are, let's suppose that you have a shop. Let's say that nobody is buying from you. Then suddenly you just advertise your goods on the internet and people start to buy. It's a benefit from losing to getting the advantage 
to utilizing so the answer will be here uh, to a benefit to retailers to the merchants okay let's come to f merchants that means retailers who or businessmen also who charge too much and offer poor service however should be well that means should be careful it's a warning for them should uh, watch out also and also it's an alert for them and it's a danger for them danger for the merchants so in this case it will be number five the dangers for retailers here which means the warning for the merchants for the businessmen now g the last paragraph some companies are already adjusting adjusting also means changing because adjusting means to go with the wave to do what others do here some companies are already adjusting their business models some companies companies sometimes instead of saying companies we might say factories that depends we might say shops supermarkets hypermarkets mini markets uh, it depends on what we mean, but all of them mean something related to business. Are changing their business models. That means are changing a model, which means what you show the people. Just like when you go to uh, the front window of any shop, you find a model. So that uh, to take account of these trends okay so in this case we just look for the word change we have already chosen one and now we have changing number seven changing the face of the shop the model of the shop of the company of the supermarket whatever and the internet site i wish that you got the benefit here from my first lecture of the aisles and in three or four days i will just post uh, i will just uh, upload another lecture which is related to the aisles headings choosing thank you very much if you if you think that this lecture is excellent good very good perfect please make a subscribe to this channel and you may contact the information below under the video and please write your comments if you have any questions or if you have if you think that there is something missing in the lecture this was Haidel Kasia talking to you thank you very much